Good day, everyone. It's Acquisition Belector. I mean, Waifu Belector. And I'm here to talk about even more possible acquisitions. Oh, I'm so tired of this acquisition talk. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, it's happening. You know, get comfortable. Now, last time we spoke, it was about Square Enix dumping off a bunch of IP and development studios. Now, an interesting part of that that actually plays into what we're talking about today is that everything Square sold off to Embracer Group, Crystal Dynamics, Eidos Montreal, Square Montreal, Tomb Raider, uh, Legacy of Kane, Deus Ex, Thief, all of those are Western studios and IP. Now, in terms of Western properties, Square Enix did specifically mention that they are hanging on to just cause life is strange and outriders right like sort of interesting choices <laughs> when when it comes to life is strange i'm honestly not sure how the more recent entries have uh, performed so for all i know those can just be smoking shit completely they could just be so fucking good commercially and so it makes no sense to get rid of them uh i think the just causes are popular enough but again i'm not really sure just cause 4 came out like four years ago in 2018 and it doesn't really appear that we're getting a new one anytime soon but what the fuck do i know literally nothing so you know they could have plans to revamp the whole series or something i don't fucking know and in the case of outriders I believe early on we were hearing it was underperforming, a lot of devs were unhappy with it being on Xbox Game Pass day one, and felt it greatly contributed to their underperforming sales, but even their underperforming numbers, if I remember correctly, weren't really that bad in the grand scheme of things, however, Square Enix is notoriously displeased with game sales <laughs> they have a penchant for overestimating everything or holding everyone up to an outrageous standard that will more than likely result in underperformance but you know as i said those woes were at the beginning of outriders life cycle and we're about a year past that now with outriders originally releasing in april of last year so those early issues may very well have been rectified at this point you know i don't know who the hell knows uh it's just kind of interesting to look at the western ip they sold off in comparison to the ones they kept it's also interesting to look at why they may have sold those western ip and dev studios off back when it seemed like microsoft was buying everything under the sun industry rumblings were saying it would be unlikely that microsoft would acquire square or namco or even capcom because of cultural differences and you know specifically cultural business operating differences like you know seeing as all those companies are japanese companies and microsoft is an american company you know that just left us all to look at sony who being a japanese corporation themselves would not experience those barriers so if this were the case wouldn't it be possible that square enix was offloading western ip in order to avoid red tape and cultural business barriers that may complicate a potential sony buyout now we obviously don't know the true contractual inner workings of Square's business dealings, so it's possible there could be verbiage or certain ownerships that render the Western IP that they kept very uncomplicated, you know? Uh, things that, for whatever reason, may not have been present in dealings with Crystal Dynamics or Idols Montreal. Another possibility is that Sony just may not have been willing to pay what Square was worth with those IP and studios attached. So Square cheapened themselves up in order to allow this acquisition to take place. Square could have also been seeing this as a win-win situation because between the commercial failings of their two recent Marvel license games, Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy, they lost $200 million 
So in selling IP and studios to Embracer Group for 300 million, you can continue to operate as if Avengers never happened and you open yourself up for the acquisition that you want. Making that Marvel money back could also explain why they sold exactly what they sold and kept exactly what they kept because they couldn't get as much money probably from selling Life is Strange and Outriders as opposed to Tomb Raider and Deus Ex, you know? And this is all speculation, obviously. I'm speculating all across the board. You know, speculation here, speculation there. It's all speculation. You know, take it all, grain of salt. I'm just rambling out here. But it's even possible that after Avengers, after failing with the hottest, fresh off the griddle, blazing hot Western IP, which is the Marvel IP, <laughs> Square could just feel like we don't understand this shit. We don't know what those fat Westerners like, <laughs> like you know, like so that could have also played into them just wanting to cut their losses, move on, you know. We don't want to deal with too much Western bullshit anymore. We don't get it, and we're sort of tired of trying to get it. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know. Obviously, I don't actually know. But the shape of things is making a Sony acquisition of Square Enix look incredibly likely. Uh, as I've said before, they obviously have a pre-existing relationship even in recent times, you know, Final Fantasy VII Remake spent a year and a half being exclusive to PlayStation before coming to PC. Final Fantasy XVI will likely spend a similar amount of time being exclusive, so yeah, and, you know, Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, those are big gets, you know, big cultural gamers games, and most importantly to Sony, they make money. Still not sure what that would mean for Kingdom Hearts, but yeah, you still get other well-off enough games that may not be super crazy blockbuster franchises, you know, like Life is Strange, like Just Cause, like Nier, and even if they don't blow the roof off the place, they're certainly worth having, you know, so yeah. Uh, that's all I want to talk about. Uh, that's all I've got for you. I'm sorry I keep doing acquisition videos. This is this is what's happening, you know, in the industry, I guess, right now. And I, I have thoughts about it, so I just make a video. So, you know, I'm sorry if you don't like it. I do hope you do like it, though. But, uh, yeah, until next time, uh, I am Waifu Belector. I am just a normal guy. I like hentai, and I think Sony could possibly acquire Square Enix. Goodbye.